Hi Virgo, here's a general look at your solar chart for June 2009 and this month it's going to be a more expansive outgoing sort of a time for you Virgo when the universe is going to help you to get a new perspective on things. It's going to be educating you with its energies manifesting through people and events and maybe just coincidences this month. Uh, yes, Saturn is still around um, and in fact Virgo's born around about the 6th and the 7th of September are going to be feeling the squeeze of this very limiting energy which uh, c comes to call every 29 years, um, it, you know, with updates every seven years in the zodiac uh, to kind of reset you on your path. Um, and um, some of the methods it uses are a little bit heavy, so it's a bit like bad cop. <laughs> But um, at least uh, in June, uh, your ruling planet Mercury uh, is going to be uh, skipping happily around outside of the compound on the other side of the barbed wire of um, Saturn's uh, sort of rather military uh, regime and along with Venus and Mars. So this is going to give you a chance to think outside of the box, to be open to new energies. Um, and definitely your spirits will be lifted by this, I would say, Virgo. Uh, some of you will be contacting people in faraway places uh, or going to faraway places, um, uh, uh, crossing paths with an, a, an exotic stranger or, or a spiritual teacher. This is all very much on the cards this month. Uh, education is uh, uh, strongly um, highlighted and uh, it, it, definitely you're going to be learning you know they say that knowledge is power and and you're going to be on the sort of learning curve this month it's going to help improve things in your life both now and in the future so you need to be mentally open for this particularly in the first half of June so yes it has been a bumpy ride uh, especially recently um, and this time of testing and challenge is just reality check time uh, for you uh, but it is uh, the universe's way of getting your attention and in fact it works you know it does work doesn't it so it's a very tangible uh, example of uh, how the planetary energies impact on our lives uh, and Saturn is, is, is really the one that does uh, make us sit up and take notice Therefore, Virgo, you should be taking more care of yourself. Um, you really do need to um, stop that, uh, you know, tendency that you have to be everybody else's willing slave, um, uh, and also, you know, to be uh, caring more about somebody else's uh, welfare than your own, maybe, or perhaps, you know, you're a bit of a workaholic. Um, so during a Saturn time, which you're in now, you need to be um, just uh, taking more care of yourself, making more space for yourself. Education is going to be a high priority in June. Uh, uh, by that I mean you might be familiarizing yourself with some sort of method or technology or therapy, um, getting to know the ropes on something maybe. It's also quite an idealistic time and you could be um, involved in pitching anything from uh, a product to a philosophy, some of you, uh, a very good time for um, promoting things, launching things. Um, it is uh, quite a strongly academic time as well, so it's sort of hypothetical, it's kind of, you know, a little bit up in the air um, on that sort of a level. Um, and uh, this month you'll be able to communicate, uh, you know, what's on your mind and also, you know, get on top of those niggling doubts because new information will be coming to you. Perhaps you've been sceptical or fearful about something, um, you know, uh, but this month, as I say, you're going to get this new perspective on things, um, uh, maybe coming from people who aren't the sort of, sort of people or isn't the sort of information that you're used to processing. But in fact, it will be coming to you and uh, that will be debunking um, something that maybe you've had fixed or limited, limiting beliefs about previously. Um, and uh, that could be affecting your area of health, 
uh, it could also, you know, your health or somebody else's health or uh, uh, area to do with um, your employment, your job, your study. Um, and it'll be showing you, you know, that it, it's not all that bad. It's a bit like um, having, you know, we're all brought up to believe that fire will burn us if we touch it. Uh, but in fact, the sort of knowledge that could come to you this month is actually watching people walking on hot coals without any damage to their skin or pain, which I personally have seen many times. And these are just ordinary people. They're not sort of, um, uh, you know, adepts and ascended masters and so on. These are just regular people. I've even seen children doing it. Uh, so that's what I mean, you know, it's a bit like sitting in the dentist's waiting room and thinking, oh, it's going to be terrible, what in actual fact it turns out to be maybe, if you're lucky, not so terrible. So now, electricity. Um, if any of you are worried about health matters, um, electricity, the sign that rules electricity, Aquarius, is in your house of health in your solar chart. So. Um, anything which is vibrational in nature, anything which is Aquarian, so light therapy, vibrational therapy, electric therapies, um, like infrared, um, stuff like that, but also, um, uh, you know, like Reiki, um, and, and uh, so it, it can be physical, it can be more spiritual, but that's all very, very helpful for, for you, um, in general, you know, not just now, uh, Virgo. And uh, because there's some really amazing magical energies in that area just now, this month and also into next month. So taking advantage of those kinds of options, you know, infrared therapy is very, very interesting. Um, and um, electricity could also be a key theme, uh, you know, impacting your work uh, environment. So here you may be sort of importing a snazzy bit of kit to play with, <laughs> um, or in fact inventing one. Um, and, um, the, you know, the, the, just be aware of that too. Now, energies could slump around the 6th and the 7th, uh, so plan accordingly. You'll be wanting to make the right impression on people this month um, as well. There's an element of feeling scrutinized and, and wanting to come up to a certain standard, I guess. Um, so it looks like you'll be uh, busy um, and, and I think feeling more up for things, you, you know, because I think you're going to be taken out of your this rather sort of narrow tunnel that you've been in. Um, by the way, on the health level, uh, you or yours could be more susceptible to chemical type medications and anesthetics and things like that this month. Uh, for your information. There could be some confusion about how to when it comes to tasks or um, employment or your job sort of environment, something to do with your job environment and also uh, blurred boundaries so others could be calling on you, you for favours or you're putting yourself out for things that you didn't sign up for originally so just remember to draw that line in the sand and take more time out for yourself. Okay. Well, that's it for June. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.